Hello Rocket Engineer, welcome to my videos and my name is Ariadi of Scarlet Space and today you're watching What If So in this What If video, we're trying to fix the special design So let's get started So, what if NASA fixed the space shuttle design? As you can see here, the blueprint, I placed the orbiter above the external tank and SRB is on the side of the external tank and I made the engine at the bottom of the external tank and adding the heat shield and parachute so it can be recoverable. As we know, the Columbia disaster that the form of the external tank hitting the head shield of the orbiter. This problem occurs because the orbiter is placed on the side of the external tank. So to avoid the problem, I'm placing the orbiter above the external tank. So the orbiter only had the two OMS or orbital maneuvering system engine on the engine section. So after the SRB fuel is is depleted, we just need to separate them. While the external tank is transferring the fuel into the engine section of the RS25. So after the fuel is deployed on the external tank we just need to separate the engine and let it uh, and re-entering to the atmosphere and using its heat shield uh, during re-entry and equip with the parachute and Miko engine separation and I'll just left the external tank We don't need that, so just destroy it. And the OMS on the orbiter is making its way to orbit. Right, clear all debris and track the engine section. So in this design, I find it's pretty hard to recover because we need to build a new rocket to bring back the engine into the launch sites and reassemble them. But this is the best way to reusing the engine, which is as you know, in real life, engine is the most ex expensive part of the rocket. But um, let's retry it on SFS first and see will this design work. The orbiter is still making its way to orbit. And the engine section is re-entering the Earth atmosphere. Let's switch it and see how will this work and the heat shield is working fine uh, the reason why I left uh, a few fuel on the engine section because I just need to attach it to the new external tank without uh, set the staging or turning on all the engine which is pretty hard so this is can reduce your reassembling time and let just let the atmosphere drag scrub all the velocity of the engine section while the orbiter still making its way to orbit at this H altitude just deploy the parachute
and I hope this works. Let's faster, 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 and we got five point eight meter per second velocity. It's probably fine, and yeah, it's landed. Get back to the orbiter, making its way to orbit. We're close to making a circular orbit. Alright, that's good. Everything is working fine, working well. There's no issue or anything that going to be a problem. So let's time wrap to here. And we're trying to re-entering the Earth atmosphere. As the orbiter now doing the retrograde burn. Again, 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 and... Now we are trying to land this orbiter. I hope there's no problem on this orbiter because we know I we don't change many part on the orbiter. Now let's faster this switch to the engine and to allow more than five time warp. Now entering the atmosphere. The orbiter looks fine, the heat shield is working fine, there is no leak or melting part. And by the way, I'm using a heat shield gliding mode. I, I forget who making that mode, but I will put the link in the description below. So it's a uh, Making you to able to control the your vehicle during re-entry by utilize the lift force by the head shield, so you can control your trajectory during re-entry. Slowing down, slowing down, and it's working well. I don't know in real life NASA called uh, using this method, but I don't know. Maybe time to develop this and redesign the orbiter is. Maybe a time consuming or require a lot, a lot of cost. But I don't know. It seems this design is working well on SFS. All we need to do just uh, build a rocket that will bring back the engine section in into the launch sites so we can reassemble all of them. And the landing leg work. And that's it for today's video. So if you like this video, hit that like button and comment what you thought about my method to fixing this special bill which is it sounds ridiculous but it's working and don't forget to share this video to your friend and of course always subscribe to Scarlet Space and if you like what I'm doing here support my work by becoming a patron of Skyred Space and thank you for watching see you on the next video and peace out